Hello everyone, it's Stella here again. I hope you're all having a lovely day. Today is absolutely beautiful here in Victoria, Australia. Lovely and warm and sunny, gorgeous. Cheers to sunny weather. <laughs> okay, now today I'm making a daisy type flower. I've started one, just like that. My conundrum is I don't have anything uh, loopy and furry to go in the middle, so I'm going to go off the grid and do something. Like I've said before, my flowers don't match anything in nature, they're purely a figment of my imagination. So. I'm either going to put pearl in there, Oops. or I'm going to these pretty things if I can find enough in the same colour, like that perhaps. Now isn't that just gorgeous? That's almost a, a champagne colour. If I can get enough of those, that particular colour, I shall be a happy chicky. Here's one. That looks a bit more, I thought that looked a bit more pink. I think it is just a little bit more pink than I want. That's the same. These are just gorgeous. They're just perfect for flower scents. And Stella's fantasy land. That's a yellow. Okay, I can make four flowers. Four, five. I think that's a pink one. Six. Okay, so I can make six flowers, and I normally make six flowers per set. I'm happy. Right. Okay, I'm not going to put anything in there just yet because I've got to do the leaves. Okay, so I'll cut out large in the dark yellow. and the paler yellow. Let me just get that little bit of paper out of there. And I've used a textured um, cardstock. It's like a woven, woven fabric almost. So, and I'm alternating. So I have some single leaves and I have some triple leaves. So for this one, oh, I also have some um, florist wire and some florist tape. And I'm going to try and do one that is on a stem with leaves. So first up, Let's go with this triple green. I've got my glue. I've got my little water spritz. And this is reasonably thick cardstock. I'm not sure of the gram weight of it, but I'm saying it would be pretty close to 200 maybe maybe a um, 176 something like that a bit of a spritz to just loosen it up a bit and I've got my tools now I like using this one when I'm putting shapes into leaves so let's play around with this and see what we can get. 
just bring those in a little and then we'll go from the top and bring it down to the centre Spritz has almost dried. It's my shadow on there. Is causing a problem. Take this one down the middle and give it a little twist at the end. Okay, isn't that pretty? We're going to pop this right in the centre there. So, get our glue. use one of these bowls, a smaller one I think, just to glue that in. Now I'm going to use a smaller one again to push in as much as I can to give the, the petals a bit of a lift. Let's see what a smaller one will do. This is one of my favourite ones. They all may not make any difference. Yeah, just a little bit there. So now you're getting a a little little hill at the bottom there. Love this. Love those leaves. Okay, let's put a good amount of glue in the centre here, and we'll pop our little champagne-coloured gem in the middle. There you go, how cute is that? Okay, we'll do another one. This time we'll go opposite. That one, and that one on top. Um, okay, first thing, you need something to curl it. I'm not using, I'm not spritzing this because I'm not um, trying to make any um, defined lines in it. So just very gently and hold it firmly at the bottom, very gently pull that up, gently and curl it at the end. And you can, if you just manoeuvre that a little bit to the side, get a little twist if you want. Let's put a twist in one over here, just gently. Miss this little piece when cutting it. Okay, the first one. Take the large ball, and we're just going to do that. You see it's lifted the petals. I'm sure you've seen me do this multiple times. A smaller ball for the centre of this one. Then 
glue and the glue is my favourite art glitter clear glue and then we're just going to pop these in oops alternating the petals like that now I'm going to take a smaller ball and just make a nice hollow there okay beautiful this is a bit more bouncy than that one just depends on the on um, the size of the ball you use and how much force you put in it okay so let's get these leaves because we're going to oh, what's the word not gouging I didn't realise daisies came in so many different colours. We don't quote this as a daisy, it's a daisy-like flower. But I looked on Google and oh my, they're beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Pink, yellow, orange, white. There we go. Oops. Gorgeous, aren't they? Beautiful. Okay, let's pop them off to the side. There. Now, I want to make another one. Um, go with the darker one at the back. need a sharper blade. Okay, darker one at the back and a pale one at the front. Now this one I'm going to try and put it on a stem. got anything like this you can of course put them there and just go around like that which will give you the same effect I'll show you You don't get quite as much curl. But still, that's an easier way to do it if you don't have one of these. Mind you, you could just use a pencil. 
Okay, I'm happy. Alright, let's put these two together. Okay, now I'm not going to put anything in the middle just yet, but let me just put that in there so it it just holds its shape, that's all. Okay, a wire. Now let's just twist that top. This is pretty stiff wire, I really don't like it much. use that. Okay, so, whoops, what you want is a loop, like that. And that loop is going to be glued onto the back, like that. Okay, and we are going to wind it with this. Oh, excuse me, I had to have a sip. Um, florist tape. And we're also going to be adding some leaves. Let's add, we'll go one at the top to hide the loop. And we might go two down the stem. We'll do three, anyway. Just giving this a little bit of a fold down there because that's going to go on the wire. And then the leaf. So while it's damp, just maneuver it. Fold it on the score line. Can you get that, babe? So let's just glue our stem on first. Plenty of glue on that. That's it. Just let it dry for a moment. Well, actually, no, we won't. Because we'll put more glue on there. Our first leaf in. I'm going to take off that little bit there, just make it more rounded. We 
just put our first leaf. Oops, no. Shoot. I should have started this first. Okay. We're all learning here today. down on an angle like that you can see what I'm doing there wind it on an angle pull this and twist pull and twist so we'll stop there okay now we'll put that in there and a bit more glue and we'll put that leaf across there. Later on we can push this in a bit to, you know, create a bit more of... Okay, twisting, 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 and I think we'll twist a little bit more before we put another leaf on. Twist it tight. I'm going to pull this between your fingers. Let's put a, f a, a leaf in now. Let's see what happens. So if we put some glue there. see where I'm putting it? Wrapping it around there and then I'm taking this let's put a little bit of glue on the back of the leaf and that so I'm taking this over the leaf in quite a way. It's awkward. It is awkward. I've just got a little bit twisted, that's all. Bitter and twisted. Let's start again. It's new to me too, so... We want some glue on the back of the leaf and we want some glue on the front, all at the bottom. And we need to put it near the top there, like that. And then gently twist. Okay, I've got the leaf secure. Yay! Got it secure. Then we just wind it tape around again. Oh my word, it's happened. Look, it's attached. Don't um, make this while you're watching me because I'm making all the mistakes. <laughs> okay. Not so good, Mr. Leaf. Not so good. Just take a little bit of that off because I ruined the bottom of it. Let's try this again.
you. I'm not actually terribly keen on that. I don't know what you all think. But this is a totally different colour. So you want to put another one on the other side. Let's see what happens there. Perhaps if we waited till they were dry. That's a possibility too. need a lot more practice at this so at the moment I don't like it not terribly happy with it because you see it's a different colour. If I had the same colour as that, it would be okay. But you know, I'm going to keep this for myself. Put it in a little vase. Just wrap that little leaf around it. Have I done another one? Sure, I did three. Oh, yeah, one, two, and the one I ruined. So, for this one, because I'm keeping it for myself, I'll just put. No, I'll put another colour in. Let's go red. Why not? in a little vase on my desk. So if you were doing that uh, with a stem, try and get the same colour because then if you had the same colour you could actually, let me just use this as an example, you could actually put your leaves on the outside rather than trying to tuck them in. Whoops. Was I off camera? It looks cute. It'll look nice in a little, a little bottle. But anyway, I, I really like these ones. Also, I've got some that I cut. Um, some of the petals off. Let's see what we can do with them. Oh, 
gosh, I'm either out of camera or I've got glary. There we go. And the second one I just put just a bit below I would still put one of those in the center and a leaf and I might trim that a little bit Let's give her either one or two, I'm not sure, but I'll do two just in case. Snip that little bit off. What do you think two would look like? Once it dries, it's going to have a beautiful shape, that's for sure. Okay. These are nice and um, nice and dry, and they're quite stiff now. Not the flowers so much, so perhaps it might do to give it a spritz. Uh, it's just very strange that giving the, the cardstock a spritz actually makes makes it stiff once it dries. It's really quite amazing. OK, 
Okay, I'm going to be continue to to make these. Um, and then later on, remember, remember when I made these ones, these pink ones, and then this. But I'm going to be making a whole heap of those in different colours. I really love this little flower, and it's just perfect for nice and small, perfect for sticking on journals or cards or um, altered canvases, anywhere you need a flower, a paper flower. This one's a perfect size. So I want to make quite a few of these in different colours. I think that would look really good. And this one. Love this one. Absolutely love this one. Doesn't resemble any flower that I know of, but I love it. It's also got, it's sort of got some, a little carnation look about it, but I know carnies don't have these petals, um, stamens in them. Okay, well that's it for today. I don't think you want to see me just faff about with the same old flower. Hang on, I've got an idea. Before we go, and I am going to give this a spritz. It's just a something that came into my head just a sec ago. And when you spritz it, you've got to be so careful. Like after spritzing it, I wouldn't use this tool because sure thing you're going to break the petal. So we'll go this way, using the balls, oh, maybe a bit smaller. Was the big one? They're both the same size. Oh no, this is a big one. I think. Spritz. 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 Hold this. Can you see how I've, I've got it in my hand there? Put a little bit of glue on there and then just. I've done this before on, on other flowers. I'm sure you've seen it. Turned it over, creating that. And I've usually put a bead in. Or you can stick some stamens in there. Okay, let's do that with this one too. Just make a crease there. Just see how this works out. If it doesn't work, meh, it doesn't work. snip a bit off the first one, just a little bit, scrunch it up a bit, put some glue around there, Oh, 
push that in. Isn't that pretty? You could put a bead or something in there, or let's see what I've got. I can pop. Nothing there. I just didn't want to get up and search for something. So. Give me eight. Okay. But I'm going to take one more and I'm going to use that one to tie these ones together. I know you've seen me do this before. get messy on your fingers and just shove that down there I need something bigger tools can be washed so open fingers so don't worry about it Because they're tied together, they're not going to move anywhere. That's pretty. serious at all. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, like I said, meh. I'm not worried. But do give it a try. It might work for you. I'll snip that little point off. going to go that far with my glue. Just pop that there and twist it around. I think I'm going to do another leaf. I'll give it two.
plenty of glue up to those first little spikes. Then wrap it around the other side. That's quite a pretty little flower, isn't it? There you go. So don't throw your odd bits away if a petal breaks. Save it for making something like that. It's pretty. And it will go with that rather nicely. There we go. Um, nothing else I can do at the moment, I don't think. Not with this lot, so that's what we've got. There's four, four different flowers from these, these cutouts. And I am going to do some in different colours. So um, maybe next time we can do them in pink. Pink, blue and apricot perhaps. How about that? Okay, thank you for joining me today. I really, really do appreciate you. Thank you so much. Please leave a comment, good or bad. It helps me learn as well. Thank you very much everyone and I will see you next vid. Bye.